This is the solution walkthrough for the November 27th, 2023 gas, ISO 8601 by Philip Newman. It is a classic Sudoku, so we just have normal Sudoku rules. Digits appear exactly once in each row, column, and region. So the first thing that jumps out at me is I have one region that has almost all of the digits filled in. I'm only missing four, five, and six. And I can see that four and six both see this cell, four sees this cell, so my four goes here and my six goes here. That means I now have two sixes in this middle band. So I need a six in one of these cells and it has to go there. And I also have two fours here. So I need a four in one of these cells, so it has to go there. Now, the remaining digits that I need here are one, two, and seven. And that means I can place a naked one there, two and seven. Let's see if I also get a symmetrical deduction here. I still need a one, eight, and nine here. And unfortunately, I am not going to get a symmetrical deduction here, I don't believe. Um, one, eight, and nine. This can't be a nine. That can't be an eight, and that can't be a one. Now, if I look vertically, what do I see? Nothing that jumps out at me immediately. Oh, I see now I have two sixes here in the bottom band, and so I need a six in one of these two cells, and it can't go there, so I have a hidden six in this region right there. And that gives me also a hidden six in this region, in the top right, right there. That's the only place that six could go in that region. Vertically here, I still need two, four, eight, and nine. So this can only be eight or nine. That gives me an eight, nine pair. So these two cells have to be my two and my four in some order. There's already a four in this region, so that's my two, that's my four. And then this is also either an eight or a nine. We need a three in this row, and there's only one position where it can go. We also need a eight and a nine, and this can only be the nine, and that is the eight. Now that's a one because that's our last digit in this column, and this is going to be an eight because that's our last digit in this column. Now what else do we need? We need a three in one of these cells, because three can't go in those cells since these see a three. Ah, we need four and five up in this region. Four and five can't go in any of these cells, so they must be here and here. The four, because of this four in row one, can't go in this cell, so it's here, and then there's our five. And so the remaining three cells we can pencil mark in, those are six, seven, and nine. Down here, ah, there's a hidden five in this region because the five sees these three cells, so this has to be our five. It's our only position for a five in box nine. So the remaining digits there are two, three, and four. Now we still need one, eight, and nine in the column. And that means that in this region, we still just need two and seven, which have to go this way around, thanks to the two in row one. So that's now a nine and a one. And here we need one, two, and eight. The only remaining digit here is a naked three, since we can't have a two or a four. And those cells aren't three. This is a three, and that's a nine. We can't resolve our two, four just yet. We should be able to shortly. So let's start looking, uh, let's look horizontally actually. So we need five, six, seven, eight, and nine here. And nothing is jumping out at me in that row. Let, let's actually <laughs> look at the vertical columns. So we need one, three, five, and eight vertically here. And so I'm seeing three, five, and eight in this row, which is telling me that's a naked one. And now I have three and five here, so that's an eight. And I have a three here, therefore that's a five, and that's where I'm going to place my three. And that eight I just placed resolves my eight, nine pair. I need to place a one in this row, and the only place I can do it is here. The only place I can put a six in this row is here, because the six sees that spot, and so this is a seven. Now I need a six and a nine. And I need a two and a five in this column. And that resolves the two, four pair. 
and I need just a nine in this row at this point and a four. And that's how you solve Philip's ISO 8601 classic.